old cheer up, mate. You must be able to get some bird to come out with you. Well, I don't know. I can't see it before I'm one. You haven't had a bird for six weeks, have you? Six weeks? Don't be daft. Is Se it? Seven weeks and three days, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't been clicking then lately, Butler. <laughs> the old fatal charm wearing off, is it? Look, mate, just because you wear a moustache, you're no blooming Omar Sharif. No, but he's a dead spitting image of his camel, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Stan, have you tried Molly? Molly? No, eh? Hey, what? Oh, mate, she's a little raver. You'll yeah? be laughing there. Yeah. Look, you chat her up. I'll call yeah, her Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, Molly, darling. Just a minute, Stan wants a word with you. Hey, Mo, what are you doing tonight, love? Why? Well, Jack's going out with his bird down the booze. I thought you'd like to join us. Oh, Fred, I can't, Stan. Pity. If only you'd asked me earlier. <laughs> Late again, Butler. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know the feeling the passengers on your bus get, mate. What feeling? The feeling you're never going to get there. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so you've got another date then, love? Yeah. I promised to take my old granny to the bingo. Oh, you're a wise girl there, I'll tell you. You'll get more excitement going with the bingo with your old granny than going out with him. <laughs> Sorry, love. Another time. All right, then, yeah. Ah, uh, old luck, Butler. <laughs> no clickety-click for you tonight, mate. <laughs> Hang about, I've got an idea. Hey, Molly, Molly, darling, just a minute. Listen, what about making a foursome? You and Stan and your granny and the inspector. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My gran's 86. Well, that's all right. Just suit you, Blakey. <laughs> Good granny. Bit of a difference in our age, isn't it? But what's wrong with going out with a bird four years younger than you? <laughs> Twit. Sorry, love. Another time. All right, darling. All right, all right. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, oh, hello, Joyce. Hello. Darling. Look, you go with Joyce, honey. Don't bother about oh, well, me. Well, I've just signed off. We can go. I'm ready when you are. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Here, Stan, why don't you come with us where you're making a threesome, can't we, darling, eh? Mm. <laughs> i joking, mate. What do you think I'm going to do while you're nibbling her ear? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Butler. I'll bow you a bag of crisps, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and now, you go. You two go. Right. Now, I'll go away. I'll go away. Yeah. You want to watch it, you know, Butler. Human body's like a bus engine, mate. If it's not kept in regular use when you try to start it, nothing happens. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll bet yours has not been run in. <laughs> Aren't you going out tonight, love? Mm. No, not tonight, mate. It's been not tonight for the last six weeks. Would appear the permissive age is passing you by, mate. Shut up. Well, I don't like to see you sitting there every night not doing anything. You ought to have a nobby. He's got a nobby already. He's just not very good at it, that's all. <laughs> he's, a, he's like an unsuccessful fisherman holding his rod out and catching nothing. <laughs> Look, mate, I can catch a bird any time I like. Oh, do me a favour. The bait's not as fresh as it was, is it, mate? You're going off, mate. At least I'm not molting, am I? Look. <laughs> My dear man, before I married Olive, I never lacked female company. Oh, and to think you gave them all up to marry me. <laughs> yes, well, it's very difficult to find a nice girl like Olive these days. You know, Mrs Bishop said to me that where she works, all the girls there, they pop in and out of bed with any man. Oh, disgusting. Mm. I should make a note of the address if I be. <laughs> Don't be funny. Mum's right, actually. A bit difficult trying to find a nice girl. Well, Blimey, you've got to be careful. Oh, yes, Stan. I mean, after you're married, you might discover all sorts of things about a girl you never imagined. Mightn't he, Arthur? How oh, right you are. <laughs> yes, well, that's what marriage is all about. Two people discovering one another. Blimey, their honeymoon must have been a right mystery to her. <laughs> There's no need to be offensive, mate, just cos you're on edge, so to speak. I'm not on edge! And don't shout! Why don't you go to the pictures? I don't want to go to the pictures. Well, it might take your mind off things. It... Here, Arthur's got the paper. See what's on. I go. <coughs> huh. There's a thing here at the Regent. Hot summer's lust. Uh. Is it a comedy? No, I, was just, I was just laughing, thinking of Stan sitting there watching it. At the plaza, there's one called Love Swedish Style. Well, that's not for him either, is it? You can talk. You haven't got round to doing it English style. <laughs> I wonder what it's all about. 
about? Well, may you ask. Well, if you don't want to go to the pictures, I know. Why not have a nice early night? You've got an early shift tomorrow, love. I don't feel sleepy. Oh, you can have one of my sleeping pills. They make me go to sleep the minute my head touches the pillow. They're wonderful, aren't they, Arthur? They've been a great boon. <laughs> and I bet you bought them for her. been doing? I've been waiting out there for you. We're due out in a few minutes. I thought you said you was just coming in for a quick cup of tea. Yeah, I didn't. I was enjoying it and all. Well, canteen tea? Blimey, what's the attraction? It's never even up. This ain't. But that is. Yeah, who is she? That's the new canteen girl. Yeah. Yeah. God, look at the way she's bending over that table, picking up those dirty cups. <laughs> Yeah, well, mate, she's got to do that. I mean, with her shape, she'd never see the table otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. Ah, oh, that is the pay. I'm glad I came up. Yeah. Might as well see what we've been working for. Yeah. Come on, it. Let's have it. Yeah. Start. Battle, Better check yeah. it. See the overtime's right. right. Lousy wages, aren't they? I don't know why you took this job. A girl like you must be able to do things much better for yourself. I'm oh, going to. Don't worry, because I'm broke. As soon as I can lay my hands on some cash for some new clothes, I'll get a job in the offices. Oh, uh, can you type then? No, but I'll find something they want me to do. Hey, who's that bloke over there? Not the one with the long hair and big teeth, the other one. He keeps staring at me with his tongue hanging out. <laughs> That's Stan. Is he married? Married? Oh, not our Stan now. Yes. Oh, I think I'll clear his table. <laughs> 27, 28, 29. You finished with that cup? Uh, no, not yet, darling. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, did you see the way she looks at me, Jack? Hey? Did yes. you see it? Uh, all, right, all right, easy, boy. You'll burst a blood vessel. <laughs> Blimey, I've been looking all over for you two. You know you're due out in two minutes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, anyway, yeah. there's been an emergency diversion. Now, you better take this down. You've got a bit of blacklead, have you? Uh, one minute, uh, just a minute. Right. right, right, yeah. Here's yeah. down there. Uh, number 11 bus. Oh, here we are. Diversion before the high street. You turn off before Rescue Road, then when you reach uh, Mount Road, you turn right. You got that? <laughs> got that? Uh, yeah, what come after number 11 bus? <laughs> You're not paying attention at all, are you? Well, Here, look, look at Matt, Here, look. Have a look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. <laughs> what do you mean, you see? You've got it upside down. <laughs> paying attention at all. Uh, look, you turn down there yeah, and you yeah. divert along there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 What's the matter with you? <laughs> hey, Stan, Stan. Cop, cop. Oh, I see. Here we go again. Your hormones are playing you up, aren't they? <laughs> Lady, come on, you've got to admit it, it's a cracker. Yeah. Who's she then? I don't think I've seen that face before. <laughs> well, you're not looking at her face, are you? Can I take your cup now? Here, uh, what's your name, darling? Stella. Yeah, well, my name's Dan, this is my mate Jack. Uh, and you recognise this, this is Frankenstein. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> yeah, well, if you thought as you were new, like... Uh, being in, we usually have a drink of a, you know, pay night. I thought you'd like to join us down at Boozer. Mmm, you're a fast worker. <laughs> Still, why not? What time? Aye? Well, we finish here at seven, uh, time we've been home and changed. No, so. don't bother about changing. No, uh, we'll, we'll see you here at seven. All right. Yeah. Oh, I better go and clear that table. Yeah, right, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't apologise, love. <laughs> What do you want to go out with you for? She must be raving mad. <laughs> what you got? Face it, Blakey. I must have something she wants, don't I? And I'm going to tell you something, mate. I'm going to make sure that she gets it.
It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Hey, you can have a, another double, darling. Thanks. The same again, Ted. Oh, I've run out of fags. Have you? That's all right, darling. I'll get you some. Hey, Ted, what you got? Only king size, Dan. Ah, oh, he's only got king size. Oh, that's all right. I've forty of them. Right, eh? Hey. Oh, yeah, all right then. Yeah, I'll get a man on a minute. Uh, uh, and uh, forty, forty king size, mate. Right, well, that's your money about a bit, ain't you? Look, mate, you know as well as I do, when you take a bird out for the first time, you've got to spend a bit of dough on her. And let's face it, you did buy the first round of drinks. Yeah, with your pound note. And she's never given you no change. She'll give it to me later on. That's what you're hoping. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah, well, the drinks is up, mate. Have you got enough cash left? Of course I have, mate, don't worry about it. Oh, oh. Blimey, that turned me over, Jack, didn't it? I've got nothing in there. I just remembered I got paid, didn't I? Uh, here, Ted. Mate, take it out next time. And, uh, Thanks, right. mate. Cheers. Okay, though. Hey, George. George. Got the change, mate? Get there, Dan. They're off, Dan. Ciao, mate. Ciao. There you are. Thank you. Yeah, darling, can you take the... Uh, I'll tell you what, yeah, you just take the fags. fags. Take the fags. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Stella. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, OK, love. Right. Listen, uh, how about uh, coming back to my place tonight for a nightcap? Mm, I'd love to. Oh, you clever boy. You managed to talk her into it. <laughs> uh, uh, got to admit, you've got smashing pair of legs. Oh, Stan! What's Look what you've done. You made a gaping great hole in my tights. Where? There. Is it bad? That looks very good to me. <laughs> easy, boy, easy. They're the only decent pair of tights I've got. They cost me 12 and 6. I'll have to go home and mend them. No, 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 don't go home. No, here, I'll tell you what. Here, I'll tell you what. Buy, buy yourself another pair in the morning. Uh, have you got change of a pound? Oh, I'll give a change tomorrow. Right then, yeah. I'm about to take them off. No, 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 no. Wait to get to my place and then take them off. You must stop, you are a devil, you never stop when I ask. <laughs> That's why I'm a bus driver. <laughs> oh, it's hard to resist a bloat like you. Is it? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, we must stop. No, not now, not now, not now. <laughs> What do you mean you've got to go? Just now you couldn't resist me, innit? Don't you fancy me? Of course I do. It's just I've got to be back at me digs before 12 o'clock to pack me bags. Pack your bags? Where are you going? You see, I can't afford to pay me rent, so I've got to sneak my things out to a girlfriend's or the landlord will grab them in the morning, so you see, I've got to go. No, 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 don't go. Um, how much is the rent? Five quid a week. Oh, I'd love to stay, Stan. Still, maybe it's for the best. I know if I stayed, I'd do things I shouldn't do. <laughs> I'll lend you the five pound. Oh, <laughs> you're a darling. Yeah. It makes me want to stay more than yeah. ever. <laughs> mm. But I can't. What? What? You can't? What for? What? I owe four weeks' rent. <laughs> four. That's 20 quid. So you see, I've got to go. Mm, 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 mm. What a pity. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lend you the money. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, I've got paid today. Look, I've got 15 pounds here. That's, that's five you've got there. And that's the I 20. Take it, I mean, I don't know you well enough. Well, I'll soon put a stop to that, eh? <laughs> Stan! What, what, what? I've got to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'll tell you what, it's, it's, uh, it's on the first landing, first on the right, OK? Yeah. Hey, hey, Stella, Stella, listen. listen. Don't make a noise, will you? Because we, uh, I mean, we don't want to wake the family up, do we? No, we don't, do we? No. <laughs> Stan! Yeah? Cool. <laughs> 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 
Stella, Stella. Oh, yes, that's a little bit of smoky music. Oh, just the one, just the job. <laughs> Oh Stella, oh Stella, oh Stella, oh Stella, I've got a bundle on this. <laughs> oh, Stella, I love you, darling. Uh... <laughs> Is that you, Stella, darling? No, it's me, Arthur, darling. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? You thought I was that bird, didn't you? Well, hey, no, no, I didn't. I... That bird I've just seen going out the front door, mate. No, she can't. Oh, yeah. No, she can't. No, she... And stuff in what's a note in her handbag. You've been taken for a ride, haven't you, mate? Of course I have. Don't be silly. Collecting for charity, was she? <laughs> no. Oh, I think you'd better have a couple of those, mate. What are these? Ollie's sleeping tablets. <laughs> I can recognise that disappointed look. Good night, mate. Good night. <laughs> Mate, I mean, I've been thinking about you all morning. Well, how did it go last night? How was the bird then? Mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Blimey, you look half dead, you lucky fella. <laughs> <laughs> she looked a right raver. I bet you she taught you a few tricks, eh? You are right there. She did. Uh, well, where is she then? I don't know. She ain't come in to work today. Oh, you devil, you. <laughs> I ain't got the strength to crawl in, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> so it's been a long time, hasn't it, mate? Yeah, hell of a long time. <laughs> you know that young woman who you uh, took out on a date yesterday, didn't you? Mm? Yeah. Came in here before lunch, wangled an interview with a general manager and got herself a job as a receptionist. What? Yeah. Didn't she tell you anything about it, eh? No. Cool. Hey, look, here she is now. Blimey, she's got some right gear on. I bet that cost a packet. Yeah, amazing where they get the money from, isn't it? <laughs> it is amazing, isn't it? Well, go on then, say hello to your lady, love. Yeah, I wouldn't have a word with her. Hang on a minute. Oh, uh, Estella? Oh, hello. Afraid I'm in a hurry. Uh, yeah, listen, about last night... I'm... I can't stop to chat. I've got to take this to the general manager. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, how about then uh, come to the pub tonight and have a drink? So sorry. The general manager's asked me to work late. I see. Well, how about tomorrow night, then? No, not now I'm in the offices. I don't think the general manager would like me to be seen out with a bus driver. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit of a brush off, wasn't it? <laughs> you must have made a great impression last night. <laughs> great lover. <laughs> it's made my day, he says. <laughs> here, here, come on, you better get cracking, mate. You've got a date with the number 11 bus of the cemetery gates. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be Stan. Will you tell him straight? I will. Hello. Hi, Mum, love. Hello. Oh, hey, nice salad, eh? If I do with that, I'm a bit hungry, too. Uh, Why didn't you give your housekeeping money before you left this morning? Uh, well, you see, Mum, uh, uh, well, I told I... you. He gave it to that woman who stuffed it in her handbag. I told you. I bet you did. He didn't have to tell me. 
I knew there was something wrong this morning when you waited till I was in the loo before you dashed out. Well, I do, Mum, didn't I? I mean, you see, I mean, the girl was in trouble. And I... Stan! No! <laughs> Of nine hours, she can hardly be. Well, I don't know. Everyone's in such a blooming hurry these days. It is perfectly <laughs> obvious what happened. He handed her the money because she got him worked up and excited. Oh, I could never do that to a man. <laughs> oh, true. If Arthur hadn't given me the extra, I wouldn't have been able to get the things in for the weekend. And there's all them bills to pay, you know. It's bills. the monthly instalment on a television set which I paid. It was your turn. Oh, Arthur, it's half past eight. You wanted to watch the football on the telly. Oh, lost. I probably missed a kickoff. Hey, Mother. hey, Mother. it's Mother. a repeat of England and Brazil. Yeah. Oh, oh I didn't see that. Did it you? should be good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I must read this. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's a lovely player. Oh, Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Get hold of that, will you? Get hold of that. Over there. Over there. Over there. You didn't pay the rent, mate. So you're not watching. <laughs> well, how childish can you get, mate? Oh, um, oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? I tell you what, mate. You may have paid the installment on the set, but I bought the aerial. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just sticking around and paid for half of that aerial. Now, get me here. Oh, get, oh, get, oh, get. Oh, <laughs> you great idiot. Well. You said you'd pay for half of it, now you've got half of it. I'm a good man to wrap it around your throat, mate. Wrap it round my throat, mate. Oh, now listen, now listen, listen the pair of you. About. Shut up, the pair of you. Give There's somebody in the door, I'll live go and see who it is. Here, he'll pay his share, won't you, Stan? Ha! He's got nothing left. No? Right. I'll tell you what I'll do. What? I'll tell you what I'll do, mate. You can have all I've got here. Oh, no, 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 I don't. No, no, no don't I go, don't. Mum, Mum. Let me no, tell you. I don't. Three quid, no, three no, quid. I can't take your last three quid. I don't have to worry. No, no. I've no. got plenty to last me the rest of the week. Oh, good. Yeah, two and fruitments. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I can't take your last three quid, love. Sorry. Well, all right. Oh. Any few what are you quid. talking about? You put that in your bag. Hey? Stan, it's Jack to see you. Here you, Mrs. B. Hello, Oh, uh, anything wrong? Uh, no, no, no. What's Arthur doing? Taking up knitting? <laughs> Yes, Stan, Joyce has fixed a bird for you, one of her mates. Uh, that's why we come round to collect you. Uh, now, the girls want to go to the Saturday night do a Tito's club. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know, Jack. I don't well, know. it's only 25 bob ahead, mate. I mean, you'll come out for less than three quid. Well, um... Don't you dare. Uh, no, 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 mate. Um, uh, you, count me out. Uh, Stan, come here. Well... Come here. There you are. See? Right, little raver. Three quid and you'll be laughing. No, no. No, I don't know, Mark. No. No, no. I, I think I'd better stay here. All right. If that's how you feel about it, I'll go around and see Harry. He won't turn up a good thing. Oh, I'm sorry I bothered. Oh, no, Jack, don't take it like that, mate. It's just one of Well, I suppose in the circumstances, I don't wish to be too hard on you. Maybe I should find you something. Oh, oh hey. Mate, oh, you're, you're a treasure, boy. Right, come on. What is it, mate? <laughs> Another couple of olive sleeping tablets, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, never mind, love. There's always another night. It's all right. It's always another night with me. Never tonight. 